Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a What's New Wednesday. Yep, I am bringing back What's New Wednesdays. I've not done one of these now for probably about six, eight weeks maybe? So, something like that. I can't even remember the last one that I did. Uh, but it's been a little while, but I'm bringing them back. I'm going to bring back a few hauls first and then we'll start to venture back to the shops because, oh, I really missed going around the shops and just poodling around and showing you guys around and stuff. Obviously, places like B&M and Home Bargains and Poundland uh, have been open, but I just haven't, it just hasn't felt right to film. And also, I haven't really been, to be honest. I think I've been to Home Bargains once and B&M once and Poundland once, and that's about it. So, yeah, it just, it didn't feel right to film and I just didn't film and I didn't do any hauls, that kind of thing. But I have been doing the Amazon hauls which you guys have really liked um but yeah i want to bring them back but we've got a few hauls coming up over how many times can i say haul <laughs> in this video i've got a few hauls coming up in the next few weeks so we've got poundland today next week we'll have a boots haul and then uh the week after that i'll do my recent purchases from amazon so right i'm gonna stop saying the word haul so yeah so we popped into poundland the other week after work um, because I wanted to get some bits for Easter and also my lovely friend River, hello River if you're watching, if you don't subscribe to River please go and do so, if you like ASMR videos you're going to love River, um, he did a Poundland haul the other week and I was like I need that, I need that, I'm, I'm going to need that and so yes this video is very much inspired by you River so but I also genuinely did need to get some Easter bits and bobs for like little gift bags that I'm doing up for the kids, like the God kids and our niece. So yes, should we just, should we get started? Right, there's going to be no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to pull things out of the bag and show you what we got. Okay, so the first thing is, look at this cutesy gift bag, this little rabbit gift bag. Um, we've got this for Martha. We're going to do her a little goodie bag up. We still have all of her Christmas presents here as well. Uh, we were going to send everything, but we want to see her. We want her to open everything and like, it be like a second Christmas. So it'll be a Christmas come Easter. Hopefully when we get to see her. I really don't know when we're going to get to go to Wales. But we're doing her a gift bag up. So in that gift bag, we will have these little bunny ears and a tail how cute they are so i've got for a pair of those i've got a a little wind up toy look how cute this is it is a pullback racer that's a little carrot with a a bunny <laughs> bunny racer i thought that was pretty cute uh, i've got her some little ooh, little unicorn eggs look at these look how funky these are are they, yeah, they are unicorns. Yeah, unicorn eggs. I thought they were pretty cool. So I've got some of those. Um, obviously, we're going to get her an Easter egg. I don't, there's two Easter eggs in here. I don't know why we got these. Maybe Chris got them for us to eat. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past him because he really likes Smarties. But we're going to get Martha another, we'll get like a big egg and like a mug and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, these are in here. I'm guessing this is for Chris and this one's for me. Well, they're going to be now if they're not. Um, what else did we get? Got some chicks. Got some little Easter chicks. These are, if they're focused, these are for the Easter table. I'm going to do like a little Easter table outside. Um, I'll show you more, more of that in a second. But they're going to go on the Easter table on display. Um, and then I've got some little Easter ornaments. Hang on, let me just get them out. There's three of them. Here we go. So I got a little baby blue bunny, a baby pink bunny, and a yellow bunny. These are gonna go downstairs in the snug somewhere. These are like like you know, like the crackle. I don't know if it's gonna focus very well. Focus. There we go. I don't know if you can see. 
but it's like the crackle but you can see the camera in there um but yeah i really really like this effect so yeah see these are really really pretty so they will be nice for my easter decor downstairs which i'm gonna do at some point um soon but yeah also in there that i didn't pick up which i'm gutted about um, but i did see those in river's video the same kind of crackly effect maybe more so actually they're more like shattered they did eggs like glass or pottery glass eggs that you open in the same kind of colors like a blue and yellow the silver um there was a pink one uh, but you open them up and i did see them in there and i was like oh i do really like them and you know when you get that regret i was thinking oh i should have got them because they would have been so nice on the easter table and to pop a like, little cream egg in and like put them in like as a place setting so i'm really gutted that i didn't get those now and i don't think we're going to venture there before easter sunday but the plan is we're doing like a little easter sunday spread outside uh, and i'll show you because in this other bag <laughs> i've got the most amazing table runners look at these it is artificial grass so i've got two of those for the table to go outside and then i'm gonna put these little chicks on there i know i'm gutted that i didn't get the eggs i'll probably like just position these on there or, or something or i'll just throw some like little chocolate eggs but um how cool are these for easter dinner decorations these would be cool like just in the middle obviously it's a table runner so it'd be cool in the middle of the table but even if you just like did a whole table full of this would be cool so this is 75 centimeters by 25 so i got two to run down the middle of the um, garden table so yeah i got a couple of those because i just thought they were pretty funky and then also with the easter bits and bobs i saw these paper plates and napkins and they're just so beautiful i love the design on these and i got these not for easter necessarily but i got them for picnics when we can start going back out going on our picnics just packing up in the car putting in a you know some sandwiches a flask of tea that kind of thing these are so so cute and um yeah i just thought they were just really pretty just all the like wild flowers on there just really adorable so i got paper plates and the matching napkins okay back into this other bag because i hadn't quite finished uh i got myself some more of these zebra pens i love these these are the nicest pens to use and i like these ones because you get the, all the different colors and i use all the different colors when i'm doing, mapping out things at work and things so yeah i got some zebra pens and it's good about a pound for 10 of those which is good is it 10 i'm sure it's 10 yeah 10 which is good what else have we got in here we've got obligatory dog toy because every time we go shopping we have to buy charlie something so he got a rope toy it's just it's just a rope toy then the last item oh and the really long receipt uh 32 pound 70 i spent 70 70 oh carrier bags that's what that is um yeah, the next thing I got is a eyebrow brush. Yeah, eyebrow. I couldn't think of the word then. I was like, oh, it's a brush. Um, yeah, it's a new eyebrow brush because my one is starting to, well, it's starting to get all like fluffy now. So I needed a new one. Um, so yeah, just, I just got an eyebrow brush. Okay, we're back to this other bag now. Right, what else have we got? We've got um, pedal bin liners, 50 pedal bin liners for a pound. What a bargain. Bin liners, um, a pastry brush. Yeah, because I don't know what happened to our other one. We did have one, but I've got no idea what happened to it. So we've got another pastry brush. Uh, <laughs> got some cocktail umbrellas now. If you have seen my box swap video with Kyla, I will leave the link to that below. But if you've seen it, you will already know that I'm going for a theme for my birthday. So yeah, I mean, it will become very apparent in a minute because I do have some other stuff in here, but I'm going for an 80s theme for my birthday party this year. Uh, whether we can have a lot of people around or just some, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a little birthday bash 
uh, in August, so hopefully things will be a lot better by then. But I'm starting to get prepared and buy a few bits and bobs. And so, yeah, I've got some cocktail umbrella sticks. Obviously, Kylo has kitted me out with flashing trainers <laughs> and flashing glasses and all that kind of stuff. So I'm fully kitted out for that. But look at what... <laughs> Oh my god oh breakables we'll show you those in a second if they're not broken um look at what else we found in here now these are pool inflatables now obviously they're gearing up and getting things ready for being in the garden swimming pools hot tubs all that kind of stuff picnics plastic picnic sets and cutlery and plates and stuff um but obviously they've got the inflatables hello it's like Poundland knew I was having an 80s birthday bash because we have got a Rubik's Cube. Well, in fact, we have got, hang on, three. There was three on the shelf and I bought all three of them because I wasn't not going home with those. That was such a wonderful coincidence. I was talking about the 80s party and then there they were. Um, so I've got three inflatable Rubik's Cubes and then an inflatable boom box so yeah so i am in party mode so i'm starting to buy little bits and dribs and drabs for my 40th uh, and they were just well they were just there and i was like yes yes you're coming home with me the next thing uh we got were some bows and ribbons i'm just stocking up my i've got like a wrapping i've got a vase with wrapping paper in like a big tall vase and it just houses all of my rolls of wrapping paper and then we've got a tub dedicated to cards and bows and ribbons and sellotape and all that kind of stuff and yeah I saw these and I thought they were really unusual like with the black so I've got some of those to top up my little tub um what's this oh hand sanitizer gel Chris must have put these in because I don't remember putting these in Carex hand sanitizer gel so two of those but chris also got another lynx black frozen pear and cedar wood scent this is really really nice even i use this i use men's deodorant and men's shower gel because i just just really like the smell of it and i think it lasts a lot longer so yeah uh, got another lynx shower gel then the last two items that are the ones that are clanging about that i don't want to break but um I don't think I've broken them. Yeah, they're pot. Okay, so <laughs> this, again, was very much inspired by River. He put this on the screen. I was like, I love it. I love it. Just, it's Easter. I'm going to put mini eggs in this. Yes? No? I just feel like it would be a really nice <laughs> Instagram picture. I don't know. But I just love the lilac or the pastel-y purple vibe of it or lavender what would you call that i'd call that lilac um but yeah as soon as he held that up i was like i need i need one of these i just love the style of it the shape of it i will even probably use this for soup this is such a good soup mug isn't it um because like the depth of it and stuff but for now we're going to use it for easter decor okay so i feel like i've saved the best for last when in fact i already have one of these but i've repurchased it because i love it so much and it is this <laughs> it is a vase or a jug because it's got a little spout on it um but a pound this is a pound it's so pretty so it is a bobbly vase or jug so this looks so pretty with fresh flowers in and i did say to mum i said if i see another one of these i'm going to snap it up again because i feel like so many people will buy this because it just looks so much more expensive than a pound you would probably spend 10 pounds or more on something like this and so yeah I, I just had to get another one because they were just there and in fact there was two on the shelf and i'm kind of thinking oh i should have got the other one but three would have been excessive right i could have used one for like a some squash or something in the summer in the garden that would be good wouldn't it but we use these as vases for our flowers and it's just so so pretty so i'm really really glad that i managed to get my hands on another one anyway that 
is it. I have shown you everything that I got from Poundland this time around. Uh, I now have to put everything away. <laughs> it's all in front of me. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed. I've got some really good bits. Like I said, it's the most that I've ever spent in a Poundland in one go. But I got some really cool bits. Some cool bits for Easter. Stuff for Martha's gift bag. Some bits and bobs. Stuff for my party. And another one of my favourite jugs. So yeah, a, a good all round haul i feel thank you for watching i really hope you've enjoyed uh next week i will be back with another what's new wednesday it's going to be a boots haul next week i'm waiting for some new makeup to arrive i've ordered some lovely spring bits and bobs like just to freshen up my makeup bag so that will be next week so i hope you enjoy that um but yeah anyway right i'm gonna i'm gonna put everything away now so take care have a lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye